chief of Global TV. Vaughn, can I just start with the news we just heard? Uh, Kevin Falcon is being endorsed by Colin Hansen. I guess things are heating up. Michael, I'll tell you that I heard Brian, Brian Green speak here in Victoria the other night, and I agree with you. He's brilliant. Uh, people should listen. It's, oh, great. Thank you. Fascinating guy. Now, on to uh, Falcon Hansen. Uh, that pretty much completes Falcon's sweep of the establishment in the government. He's got all the senior ministers, most of them anyway, with him. Um, and he's got a big chunk of the business community as well. Uh, you know, I guess I'd, I've said to people before, uh, if you like the Gordon Campbell government, you're going to like the Kevin Falcon government. Yeah, I but I do think polls do uh, sway people, particularly in the, in the B.C. Liberal coalition. If they see someone who is more electable and more likely to continue to allow that coalition to hold political power, in this province, I think that person has an enormous advantage, and that's that's the main advantage Christy Clark has coming in, in this race because she's coming in as an avowed outsider. She's taking on the party establishment, the the caucus members, the cabinet members. She's running actually against them, and uh, she's hoping that there's enough people in that Liberal Party who feel the same way as she does. And there's currently a lot of people who have signed up as new membership, but don't forget, as Vaughn says, 35,000 people were were members of this party going in. They were pretty comfortable with the gang with the administration as it was. So I think in some ways Christy Clark's uh, waging a bit of an uphill battle with the establishment. I think the Liberals need someone who is going to really redefine them. So they need someone who is going to be able to articulate and, you know, talk about doing things differently, right? To have some new policies, some new ideas, because the Liberals haven't, you know, except for the HST, they haven't had a whole lot of new ideas for the last five years or so. But I also think it's going to have to be somebody who, 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 who strikes a different tone, you know? I mean, the, the HST was not, people's anger about that was not about the tax. I don't think it was about the fact that the government broke trust with the people. They went and they forced it on us after the election without telling us, no consultation, boom, next thing you know, we've got the HST. Well, where did that come from, everybody says, right? So I think people, the Liberals need someone who can inspire trust. Most of all, that's going to be the most important uh, aspect of this person because that's what the Liberals are missing right now. And, um, you know, if they can inspire trust and they can hold their coalition together, with, they might, might be able to cobble together an election win.